Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It's the Saturday after New Year's Day, and that means the festive season is slowly coming to an end, and that thousands of motorists will soon be making their way back home. Traffic authorities are pleading with them to, be, uh, to abide by the rules of the road. And they say it's been a busy festive season, and many were arrested for speeding and drunk driving. For more on this, I'm joined by Simon Zwane from the Road Traffic Management Corporation on the line. Simon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, you, it is a busy festive season for those on your various teams across the country. Um, but now it's time for the traffic that you uh, uh, ushered to their destinations to start making their way back home. Where are you expecting the hotspots to be over the coming days? Yeah, we have seen people starting to make their way back. Uh, in fact, they started traveling back from after Christmas. Uh, others have come back. Uh, yesterday, we saw a substantial increase in the numbers of vehicles coming back, uh, with about 1,900 uh, registered living dead and at some point in the morning. And later evening, there were 1,500 cars that came into Houghton. So we're expecting the hotspots really to be on the main national roads, uh, that is the N3 coming from Deben to Gauteng, the N1 from Limpopo into Gauteng, the N4 also from Pumalanga, Mozambique into Gauteng, the N2 in the Eastern Cape uh, towards the Western Cape, even the uh, N1 to the Western Cape. We expect that those roads will be busy, uh, but also the roads leading to Kimbali will be busier than usual uh, because of the ANC celebrations that are taking place there. And now, uh, South Africa's road death toll over December is widely known to be higher than most countries' uh, traffic death toll for an entire year. How, we, how are we looking in terms of those numbers this year as we head into another busy period as people make their way home? Yeah, we've been concerned about the heavy rains that have been falling uh, in some parts of the country, and that has increased the risks. Uh, and also the binge drinking that takes place around the New Year's, New Year's Eve and New Year's celebrations have also added risks. We, we are still hopeful uh, that we may come out better than the previous years, but we have to wait until all the people have returned to, to work and others have returned to school and then we have a clearer view. But we, we, we're still on the road keeping a close focus on the traveling patterns, uh, assisting where we need to assist and dealing with those who are breaking the rules of the road uh, decisively to ensure that there is safe and that we, we can come down and meet the target that we have set ourselves. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Simon Zwane there on the line. Thank you so much for your time. He is from the Road Traffic Management Corporation as he and his team head into another busy period as South Africans um, make their way back home after the festive season.